Go mind your business somewhere that isn't here. You're freaking me out. Like, everything's drawn on your face. Oh! Wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> what is up everybody? A Normaki here, and we're, we're playing, <laughs> we're playing Creature Street today. Look, I don't really know a whole bunch about this game, save for the fact that it's apparently like an Animal Crossing murder mystery parody thing from the deepest pit of hell. I don't know. I saw it on Twitter and I was like, I gotta get on that. And in the minute I <laughs> went to the website like to download the game itself, I was just so appalled. I was like, oh dear God, let me record this for posterity's sake. If you're new here, I hope you have a great time. And if you do find yourself enjoying these videos, then feel free to subscribe. We're growing as a channel and I'm having so much fun with you guys. So without further ado, it's been a terrible crime. Use the gamepad to move around, interact with objects and animals with E, advance text with space, bring up your crime journal with J, find motives, evidence, then tell. Hey yo, what the f is a door who you think did the dastardly deed? Okay, we can see where this is going. Left. All right, whatever. Get into it. Oh, hello, detective. Thank you for coming here on such short notice. You're welcome. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but the town of Oh boy, the town of male appendage needs your help. The town is usually a very peaceful place full of kindness and joy. However, a few months ago, a boy named... This is, I can see where this game is going. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to blink out so much. I can already tell. We're, we're gonna call him, we're gonna call him Tim. A boy named Tim arrives. He was immediately appointed mayor of town and his incumbency has been tumultuous at best, so oh God. You see, I'm the mayor's assistant and I have a front row seat to his decision-making process. The town has seen better days to be sure, but the other villagers and I were getting along pretty well, until last night, that is. This isn't public knowledge yet, but Mayor Tim, he's been murdered. <laughs> Just kidding, we knew that. <laughs> we need to bring the killer to justice immediately. Can you help us save the town and identify the killer of Mayor Tim? I will do my absolute best. You look absolutely ridiculous and, and I don't even, you terrify me, but I really have to say that I'm so happy they didn't try to like replicate animalese in this game because I can only imagine like what horrible hellish abomination they would have come up with as far as the sound for it. So, you know what? We're gonna take these victories as we can. Go ahead. Pause! What is that? Why do I look like that? Ugh. Look at his mouth. He's like a low grade. <laughs> he's like a low grade me character. Oh my goodness. With a trench coat. I killed him. There you go. Case closed. I killed him. I'm the most suspect looking person on this island. I don't need to see the other villagers. I killed him. Hand me in. Okay, this is the mayor's house. Be sure to check inside if you can stomach it. What? If I can st All the other animals are around town. Keep in mind, the murder isn't public knowledge yet. Try to be inconspicuous and friendly. Not with that face! Search for clues. Ask around to see who might have had it out for the mayor. Then come back and talk to me when you figured out who killed Mayor Tim. Good luck. Thanks. Go mind your business somewhere that isn't here. You're freaking me out. Like, everything's drawn on your face. Oh! Wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> Piano scared me more than anything. I'm just supposed to run <laughs> the lost and found. <laughs> I've been telling people for years that if Booker ever actually had to do any, like, real cop work, he would pass out. Look at this guy. Look at him. He is tr- Why are you still here, you poor thing? Holy crap, what a way to go. He certainly teed off somebody big time. I should say so. He's got his leg meat disconnected from his foot meat, and his neck meat disconnected from his body meat. <laughs> Hello. The murder weapon. Belonged to the mayor. No prints on it other than his. Alrighty, that doesn't bode well for me. Wait, do animals have fingerprints? Oh god, that's a great point. Poor guy doesn't even know what he's just seen. He's a this is so dark. Some stationery. 
with some special red ink. Red ink. It's blood. We on come on now. Alright, add it to journal. Ooh, okay, cool. Let's see, we've got evidence. Oh my. Okay. That does not bode well for anybody involved. <gasps> I don't know what's nastier, the murder or this toilet? The toilet, the toilet. Okay, I, 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 I've taken in everything I can around here. You, you should really get some sleep, maybe. Maybe take a vacation. Okay, with that out of the way, let's uh... Yeah, trees, there's weeds around. Hello. Looks like somebody was a little bugged by this net. Boo! Okay, this is an inconspicuous house with literally no windows or a doorknob. This can only go poorly. I don't know whose house this is, but I presume Le Isadora lives somewhere. She don't live anywhere in our games. Breaking and entering isn't really my style. Well, it needs to be your style! A man is dead! Don't you care? <laughs> okay, what, we, what else we got? Let's see... Oz! Oh! And what are you supposed to be? Hi there, I'm Squeaky. I love having fun. That can be taken in so many different ways, my guy, given context. I can already tell. We're gonna have a ton of fun. Why is that his catchphrase? Who did this to him? Is that all you're gonna tell me? Or are you like the real Animal Crossing characters and you have nothing of substance to ever say to me? <laughs> oh, Mayor Tim, we're best friends. He even taught me this great new catchphrase. <laughs> ah! We call that motive here. <laughs> he writes me letters all the time too. Check out this really nice one. Dear Squeaky, you got a real messed up face, bro. True. I hate you. Die. Die, die, die. Die. <laughs> Why are you in my game? Please move away or just... Wow. You suck so bad. I hate you. Mayor Tim, yeah, I, 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 I gotta say, I think I'd ax a guy in the head if he ever talked to me like that, too. I told you I killed him. I don't know why you don't believe me. Ah, look at the top of his head! <laughs> you may address me as Mayor, as Myrtle. And you are? The pleasure is all yours. Ah. We may become friends if you keep things neat and tidy here in town. I hate her. Mayor Tim has some avant-garde ideas about cleanliness and visual appeal. I think Squeaky did it because he'd be looking like he's got, he got murder eyes, he got crazy eyes. He got crazy eyes. Myrtle loves having everything neat and orderly. Mayor never pulled weeds and surrounded her house with disgusting trash. Okay, maybe Myrtle did it. Maybe, I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe they were in cahoots with each other. Maybe they were just, this was like a joint partner project. This was a pretty nice shirt before the ominous stay. Okay, you actually don't look that bad. You look moderately passable. Hey there, Boofer, I'm Ursula. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, okay, she's nice, I like her. You'll have a great time in town, I love it. I see the trick they were trying to get me to read out loud. You ain't gonna catch me slipping, not in these streets. He's always chasing me around, laughing and trying to push me into the water. His favorite game is to run up behind me and bop me over the head with his bug net. We have so much fun. Well, that explains the cracked, bloody... This is just horrific. Hello. You <laughs> look like you have a gumdrop on your head. For a head, even. This is supposed to be a duck. This, this is just horrific. Hello. You're new. My name is Dwight, and I love to wear the finest clothes, Quacko. I'm so happy for you. I hope we can become great friends. Though you'll need to work on your fashion sense. Ah! Wait a minute, now hold on. I understand what he's saying in concept because I am in fact wearing a hat with a very suspicious looking trench coat. However, the point is, don't you ever talk to me like that. Oh, this little number? For years, I wore only the snazziest shirts. Uh-oh. Then, Mayor Tim moved to town and made this shirt just for me. What a good friend. Now I wear it all the time because, well, if the mayor makes you a shirt, you should wear it. Isn't it great? No, it's not great. It's not great at all. It's actually quite terrible. You should, wow. You know what, let's review our evidence for a sec. So, Dwight, motive. He's obsessed with looking sharp and fashionable. Mayor made him wear a terrible, rude, disgusting, gut-wrenching shirt because he's just a piece of trash. Um, Myrtle's evidence should be the garbage. I don't think I looked at the garbage. Take a look at that real quick. Okay, right off the bat, I don't think Ursula killed anybody. 
she seemed like an average friendly person. Um, I mean, yeah, the mayor was physically assaulting her at every possible turn, but she doesn't seem terribly bothered by it. She seems to think it's fun. So I don't think I don't think it was her. I think she's nuts, but I don't I don't think she killed anybody. Uh, Myrtle's pretty bitter. She's pretty she's pretty freaking bitter about some trash in her yard, and I mean she should be. I would be. So she 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 probably she could have. She could have hacked that man. Squeaky is obviously the murderer, purely because look at his face. <laughs> Hollowed out bell peppers, I'm telling you. And Dwight is, he's, he's indifferent to this entire thing. I, I think he's just been minding his business and making the best of a very bleak situation. So intelligence would tell us it's probably Squeaky or Myrtle, but I'm gonna be real with you. Hear me out. What if Isidore killed him? <laughs> Think about it, think about it. What if Isidore killed him? Think about it. They all have evidence against them. There's blood all over the place. And I mean, it's not like we can do fingerprints or anything because animals don't have fingerprints, but how was, how, if the murder weapon was the ax, as we've seen, it couldn't have been the net because that doesn't make any sense unless the net was broken over Ursula's head, in which case she killed the guy. But I don't think that's what's happening here. That letter can be a little bit suspect because it's written in red ink which probably means it was scrawled out in that guy's blood. That's disgusting, but I I don't know. Squeaky, as freakish as he looks, he seems pretty happy. He's, he's somehow liked that letter. I mean, you can write some pretty ridiculous letters to your villagers in the actual Animal Crossing, and they'll be like, oh my god, you love me so much, thank you, here's a piece of furniture. So, I don't even think Squeaky did it. Like I said, Dwight's out, he's minding his business. Isidore had to have done that. This is like, this is like planted evidence. Like, this, is, this has got to be like plenty of evidence. I swear. I swear. We gonna find out though. Hello, detective. Something's not right. It seems like everybody hang out for the mirror. Aha! That's what I've been saying. And every citizen with even the slightest motive just happened to be have a damning piece of evidence just lying around. Look. Seems you've attracted an awful lot of attention with your investigation. People are starting to ask around about what's going on. Oh, are they? Are they really asking what's going on? Or are you just making me feel bad? I believe you've left no son unturned. So, detective. Who killed Mayor Tim? I think you did it, Isidore. Mm. That silence is deafening. Deafening. <laughs> oh, God. Please, come with me. She, why does she look so angry? Here we are, City Hall, where it all began. Mm -hmm. Tell me, detective, what do you see on these walls? That's right, portraits of all our previous mayors. Notice one thing they all have in common? They're all, they're all humans? They're humans! This is an animal town! Okay, I just want to know what that has to do with me. But every time a human rolls up in some train or bus, they immediately become the mayor. Right, right. Do you know how that makes me feel, detective? Probably very unappreciated. I I've been the backbone of the town for two years. Two years. I've been the backbone of the town for years. But do I ever get to be mayor? No, of course not. And Tim? He was the worst one of all. His older sister was mayor for a long time and the town thrived. Flowers bloomed, friendships blossomed, everything was okay. But then, time passed. She got older and she handed the reins to her younger brother. You saw the state of the town. Everyone's moved away and the ones that remain are too dumb to live. Yeah. He even renamed it from Lovelyton to insert male appendage word here. <laughs> He was childish, and he abused all of us constantly. It was only going to get worse, and worse, and worse. Somebody had to do something, even if it meant sacrificing a local. I do wish it hadn't come to this, but you have to understand. I'll do anything to save this town. And I won't let anyone stop me. Oh, wait a minute. What? I'm gonna just go ahead and chalk it up to we beat the game because we figured out that it was in fact Isidore who killed the mayor. Um, 
Unfortunately, beating the game means getting shot to death. So, was this really a win? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, we're really getting on with this stuff. This is gonna be so much fun. And tomorrow is Soundtrack Saturday again. So hoping to see you guys there. I'm gonna go cook some food and try to pretend this game never happened because as of right now, I'm quite off-put. And until next time, you guys, peace.